Welcome to Vosa with Ambassador Atta Shahid. Have you ever wondered why Niger, a land of diverse tribes and rich uranium deposits, remains one of the world's poorest nations? This paradox of wealth and poverty is embodied in the Hausa, Zarma Songhai, Tuareg, and Fulani tribes. Each with their unique languages and cultural practices, they paint a vibrant picture of Niger's cultural diversity. Yet, despite being the second largest producer of yellow cake or uranium, the wealth seems to elude the common man. In the heart of Africa, Niger is a cultural mosaic, but it's a nation with untapped potential waiting to be explored. Niger is the world's second largest uranium producer. So why is it still struggling with poverty? An intriguing question indeed. You see, despite being endowed with vast uranium reserves, Niger's economy is not as bright as the glow of its yellow cake. For decades, the country has been exporting this radioactive material, yet the profits have barely trickled down to the masses. The uranium industry in Niger is a paradox wrapped in an enigma. On one hand, it offers the promise of economic prosperity. On the other, it has led to environmental degradation, health risks and social unrest. It's not just about selling uranium, it's about managing its impact on the land and its people. In the heart of the Sahara, the Tuareg tribes, once nomadic, now find themselves at the epicenter of this struggle. Their ancestral lands, rich in uranium, are being exploited and they are left grappling with the fallout. Uranium, Niger's yellow cake, has been more of a curse than a blessing, but change is on the horizon. Did you know that in the city of Agadez, women not only rule, but also choose their husbands who reside in the women's houses? Unlike many parts of the world, Agadez, a city in Niger, operates under a matriarchal system that also embraces unique marital customs. This isn't a contemporary development, but a cultural tradition that's been passed down through generations. In Agadez, women are the decision makers, they're the leaders of their communities, and their voices carry weight and authority. This societal structure has shaped the city in extraordinary ways. The city is also home to the renowned Agadez Mosque. The women of Agadez not only manage their households, but also actively partake in local governance, ensuring their communities thrive. They're educators, they're entrepreneurs, they're the foundation of their society. The heart of a patriarchal continent, Agadez emerges as a beacon of female empowerment and progressive marital norms. Niger's greatest asset is not its uranium, but its people. This West African nation boasts a population as diverse as it is young. Within its borders, a multitude of tribes speak a rich tapestry of languages, each one adding a unique thread to the fabric of their shared identity. Yet, their diversity is not their only strength. The youth of Niger stand on the precipice of a new era, with education as their compass and entrepreneurship as their vessel, they are poised to navigate the path towards a prosperous future. Their innovative spirit sparkles brighter than any uranium deposit. With a median age of just 15.3 years, the future of Niger lies in the hands of its youthful population, ready to carve out their own destiny. Please subscribe to Vosa with Ambassador Atta Shahid to explore the world. Stay safe and stay connected.